Hey guys, my name is Coach David. I am the head tennis professional here at Waccamaw Regional Recreation Center at Stables Park. And joining me today is Coach Joey, who also works with the uh, Parks and Recreation Department. Uh, we're going to do five series of lessons to get everybody introduced to tennis. So hopefully you can come out here and enjoy our 10 wonderful courts and uh, enjoy the uh, a game of a lifetime. First things first, we're gonna learn how to do a proper warm up. All right, folks, so uh, I got a red ball. This is a great ball for beginners, right? It's great for little kids about yay high to big kids this high, right? It's a really nice ball to learn with because it's a low compression ball. Now we can use an orange ball that is a little more compression or a regular ball that you and I would, or most adults would play with, right? But I'm gonna demonstrate with the red ball. First thing we want to learn how to do is control the ball by hitting the ball up in the air. They're called ups, right? So I want to hold my racket like a frying pan, right? I throw the ball up, I let it bounce, and all we're going to try to do is hit the ball about head high and keep the racket flat when you hit it. That is the key. You want your racket flat like so. All right, so Joey, why don't you come over here and demonstrate? And our goal is to get 10 in a row. Three, four, five, six, seven. He's a pro, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Nine and 10. Here we go. Next progression. I'm all about progressions, right? Next progression is the same thing, but we don't let the ball hit the ground. So again, we throw the ball up, we let it bounce, and we try to hit the ball 10 times in a row. One of the secrets here is you don't hit it too high and you don't hit it too low, right? We want about a foot off the ground and we're also gonna hit the ball waist high. I see this happen a lot where you start chasing it, you don't wanna chase it. You also don't want the rack to be not level because if, if it's not, we'll have something like that. All right, let's go Big Joey. Okay. 10 in a row. 10 in a row? Yep. Okay. And 10. It's always good to count. Nice job, coach. All right, the next one we're going to do are called flip flops. Now, for flip flops to work, we must hold the racket a little different from our frying pan grip. We got to hold it like you got a hammer. It's called a hammer grip, right? And this way, we can have our forehand side of the racket facing the sky, and then we flip it over in the backhand side. Now, let me be clear we're not flipping the racket like this, we're going to hold it like a hammer and we're just gonna rotate our forearm so that the backhand side of the rack is facing the sky, forehand side of the rack is facing the sky. So we're gonna do it with the bounces, and again, we go to our magic number, which is what? Two. 10, very good, Coach Joey. All right, come on, Joe. Okay. Let's see if he's got his hammer grip. Looks good. Two. Big timeout, timeout, Joey, so that everybody catch his mistake. If you looked at his hand, he was doing this and doing that. You're right. So we oh, have to keep the hammer grip. grip. See him okay. not change his grip. One, don't change your grip. Two, three, four, let's go to five. Five, time. Nice job. So that was better. All right, so again, hammer grip. Next progression, you guessed it. Same thing, but no bounce on the ground, all right? So we're gonna go about a foot off the ground. Notice I'm not changing my grip. Not a foot off the ground, a foot off my racket. All right, and we're gonna try to get to 10. This should be tougher for Coach Joey. Let's see how he did it. Great. great job. Thank you. Excellent. All right, so the next progression. Joey, you're going to be with me real quick. Okay. This is a good one, right? You do this with your little brother, little sister, mom, dad, uncle, grandparents. I'm going to hit the ball straight up. Joey's going to hit my ball straight up. So we're going to do what I call ups in between. So in between us, right? And here we go. Ups in between with Coach Joey. Go ahead. Up. So I want you to hit it straight up in the air, right? Straight up in the air. We're not running around a bunch. You can hold the racket, whatever's comfortable, so you can hit it straight up in the air. 
So this, ladies and gentlemen, is as basic as it can get when it comes to rallying. Rallying is where we hit the ball back and forth. This is exactly what we're doing at a very beginner level. So this is ups in between. What I don't want to see is that. We're not hitting the ball at each other, we're hitting the ball in between each other. Once you get good at that, let's do it again. Go okay. ahead, Joey. All right? Try to alternate between your forehand and backhand. So you gotta have your continental grip where your hammer grip. Hit it straight up, Joey. There you go. And try to use that one grip we talked about. So you're not changing your grip. Okay. All right? Just change whether you're gonna hit a forehand or a backhand. All right? There you go. And let's get closer together. Good. Next progression is after you hit, you gotta spin. So after you hit, you spin. Spin. Now like this. Spin. Oh, it's actually spin. Okay. Right. So it makes it fun. All right, you ready? Yeah. Okay. You spin. I spin. Who's gonna get dizzy first? <laughs> right? So the trick here, y'all, is we're not gonna hit it at each other. Right? We hit it in between each other. All right, great job, baby. Thank you, man. All right. Good instructor. All right, so another warm-up that we have to learn how to do are downs. What we just learned were ups. And we had different progressions. We had ups with the bounce, without the bounce, flip-flops with the bounce, without the bounce, and we did ups in between. Now we're going to learn how to bounce the ball on the ground, right? Now to do that, I want you to be able to just pick up your racket so your racket's nice and flat. So your hand looks like this. Put your racket in your hand like so. There you go. So this is a nice grip to use for downs, right? So, all I want you to do, Joey, I'll do it first and then you go. Okay. I throw the ball up, I let it bounce. I hit it once, let it bounce. Hit it twice, let it bounce. So my racket gets out of the way after I hit it, right? Now one of the things we have to understand is when you hit the ball, I want the ball coming up. What I don't want is you trying to hit the ball while it's on the way down. So this is the proper way of doing it. And this is how not to do it, right? Because there's no energy. So you want to make sure the ball is coming back up when you hit the ball down. Go for it. Good. One, two, we're always trying to get to 10. Three, four, five, six, seven, Nice job, bro. Thank you. All right. The next progression, same stuff, but no bounce in between. So you got to be a little more ready, on the ready, ready to go. If you notice, I'm not very limpy wristy, right? My wrist is pretty firm. And again, what I don't want is this. You don't want to be hitting the ball on the way down. You want to be hitting the ball as it's coming up, redirecting the ball. Excellent job. So those are great downs. Last racket skill that we need to learn how to do are called a round. So all we're going to do is keep the ball on the edge of the racket and roll it around. Whoop. A little bit tougher with these big balls. And if you have a, a racket with a big wide edge, it's a little bit easier. So this looks easy, but it's not as easy as it looks, especially if you have one of these fiber doors that I have that reduces the vibration, right? Some people play with them, some people don't. You don't necessarily have to have them, but with that there, it makes this a little bit more tricky, right? But notice I'm just keeping the ball on the edge of the racket, right? And Joey's got a racket that's very, very suitable for a round. See how he does. Ooh, gotta keep it on the edge. Uh-oh, here we go. Keep it on the edge, so tilt the racket so it stays on the edge. You're learning all the, the weight and the balance of the racket. Nice job. So you can sit, Joey, you know, a little more work there, right? Yeah. You're not bad. Yeah, yeah, I do. So those are drills that you can do in the privacy of your own home. If you have a ball like this, you can probably do it in the kitchen. You're not going to hurt anything. But preferably, you want to be outside in the driveway, backyard, front of the house. But you can do all of these with no tennis court. Right? I can do all of this stuff at the house, and I do it quite a bit myself, right? 
So that was lesson one here at Stables Park. Hope you enjoyed it, and we'll be back for lesson two in a bit.